whenever i make videos of call for proposal it really gets me excited because i know that that is the trending area and funding is going to come over there that means you do research in any of these areas or you take up projects in these kinds of areas automatically it will go trending okay it will be in high demand so in today's video i have got such a video for call for proposal this is if you are into academia or into teaching and if you are looking for some funding with respect to an institute then there is a program called as curie program which is organized or funded by dst and in today's video i am going to share all the details about that the aim of this scheme is to give basic infrastructure to develop r and d research and development facilities in your college so if you have a college and this goes to any faculty who is reading this or who is coming across my video if you have a college which is women's okay women's college and if you require infrastructure or funding to develop that then this is the scheme for you the duration of the funding is 3 years the deadline is february 28th 2024 and the location is india so the college should be in india in this video i am going to tell you about the different benefits what kind of grant amount would be given the different eligibility condition what all should your college have to even apply for this the application procedure the selection criteria what are the different things which will be kept in mind for your college to get selected for the scheme and also i will give you pointers on how to form your research proposal it's not really a research proposal but a funding proposal you can say in this case what all points should your application have so that it gets successful at the interview round without further ado let's begin let's move on to the benefits so you will get 150 lakhs that means 1 crore and 50 lakhs for infrastructure development and for starting r and d activities in your college so there will be facilities such as infrastructure facility that means with respect to renovation or you want to modernize the laboratories then you will get funding for that if you want to upgrade the existing facilities then also you are going to get funding for that networking and computational facilities for software and databases for scientific books maintenance and refurbishing of existing and new facilities so with respect to infrastructure you want to do anything whether upgrade the existing infrastructure or build a new one then you will get funding for that one thing to note over here is proposal towards individual r&d scheme is not included that means if say suppose you are working on a project and you want funding for that project that means that funding is for individual purpose so that is not allowed this particular funding is for improvement of the college in whole what are the different eligibility conditions one thing to note over here is this is for science and technology departments anything which is related to technology or with respect to any science field then you can get a grant for this secondly it has to be a women's college women's college and this is for post graduate not for graduate level for post graduate level thirdly your college should be existing for at least 3 years for you to apply so like if the college was formed 1 year before or 2 years before then it is not eligible for this scheme the net grading should be at least b grade or above first you have to apply for this online and the pro forma is there on the website as usual you have to fill in the details and submit also as far as the result is concerned the names of the successful colleges under this scheme will be notified on the website so you don't have to get in touch with them or mail them or anything the result would be there on the website itself the major section in the application is your proposal if you are asking for money then there are several sections over here typically four sections are there and i will take you through each of them and make you understand exactly what to write under which heading so let's move on to the screen so section 1 is understanding the curie program so you first begin by writing the core objectives of curie program emphasize its role in supporting women's institution helping them establish advanced research infrastructure section 2 has eligibility and invitation for proposal so you clearly outline the eligibility criteria for participation in curie program specifically targeting women 
PG colleges. Third, you have to write the objective of the proposal. Why do you want to do this and how it will help your college? So you will present a concise overview of the primary goals that proposal should address. This includes the enhancement of research facilities within the science and engineering departments of women PG colleges and the promotion of R&D activities. In fourth section, you will write about the research infrastructure, detail the components of the state of the art research infrastructure and how it aligns with the goals of the Curie program. How will you provide strategies for how the proposed initiative will contribute to improving and expanding the research and highlight methods to attract and retain fresh talents. That means how will you recruit new students? Recruit in the sense, how will you give admission to new students? What would be your marketing campaign and how your college would reach maximum people? You can wrap up the proposal by reiterating or repeating the significance of Curie program in advancing research capabilities in women PG colleges. So this was the format and these are the things that you need to include in your proposal for you to get accepted. Let's move on to the selection process. How the selection process would be there? The first step is peer review mechanism. That means a group of people or you can say a panel of experts would examine your application and try to understand based on your application process or based on your submitted documents itself whether your college is a good fit for the proposal. Then you will be called to give a presentation of this particular proposal that you have submitted. So one of you will have to be ready with the proposal and the presentation itself. Then the third step is there would be a visit to your college from the department or from the panel of experts who will examine and validate the claims as to what was given in the document, whether what you have written is true actually. Also there will be an expert committee which will assist the department or which will assist the panel to make the right decision as to which college is a good fit for this particular scheme. And as I've already said that the names would be notified on their website. If you have any further doubts, then you can contact over here and you will get a reply within a couple of hours. If you are into academia or if you are into teaching position, whichever, whether it is contract or regular, do forward it to the hierarchy because this is a really good scheme. One crore 50 lakh is a really good amount. It will definitely help you upgrade your existing infrastructure for the betterment of future generations. With that, it's a wrap. Till the next time. Bye.